A good thing to remember is that a file only works on the forward stroke. Pulling it backwards won't do anything. So that's why when I'm filing, I, I file at a forward stroke and I pick it up and then do it again. I never pull it back on, on the wood. If you do pull it back on the wood, don't be pushing down while doing it because it just makes it dull faster. Okay, I finished the first wing of the boomerang. I'll give you a cross-section view there. If you notice, this is the leading edge. It's more rounded. And this back here is the trailing edge. So you got the rounded front and the, the, the flat back going downhill. Okay. So now's a chance to take the 80 grit sandpaper and be able to round that front edge, the back edge too. So if you have any splinters, you can get rid of them with the 80 grit sandpaper. You can also get rid of any of the uh, pencil marks left behind. If you're worried about the, uh, the name on the stick, then you can sand that off or try to paint over it somehow. But generally, this is the side that most pe people look at, and this is the side that you want to sand the best. And 80 grit will do the majority of the work. After you've finished with the 80 grit, you can then go to 120 and sand everywhere. Each progressive step leaves smaller and smaller scratches until you can't see them anymore, and then you get to see the nice beautiful grain of the wood left behind. You'll need to sand it longer than I've shown here to get the perfect looking boomerang. Alright, I've finished both pieces of the boomerang. They've both been sanded till they're smooth. If you look here, I've even rounded the ends so that as it's spinning and you catch it, it won't uh, give you any splinters or anything like that. You can also see the, the profile of the wing. You have your leading edge and your trailing edge. And remember, if you're left-handed, you want this to be opposite. The next step is going to be gluing. I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue. And Gorilla Glue, um, some people don't realize that you need to get whatever you're gluing wet first. It has a uh, shortcut directions here. You gotta damp it, glue it, clamp it. So the first thing we want to do is to get one of the pieces of wood just a little bit wet where the glue is gonna be. Before you start gluing, you wanna make sure you have everything set out. You wanna pre-lay out your sticks for the boomerang and make sure everything's perfectly square. If you want, you can even uh, draw on and this is a piece of paper that I have on the table. You don't want to draw directly on the table. And draw 90 degrees. That'll help you lay it out so it's more square. I have here a small cup of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of water on one of them. Now you don't want a lot, just a little bit, just to make it damp. I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to put it on the other one. And you don't need a lot of glue because this glue will actually foam to be two to three times more than what you put on. So if you put on a lot, it'll actually foam up and end up being too much. And that's another re reason to have paper here is because when it does foam, some of it can get on the table and you don't want to glue your project to the table.
Okay, now it says to clamp it. You can also get a heavy weight. I have here just a large piece of steel. I'm just going to set that on top of there. Okay. And that will clamp clamp it and you need to leave it like this for one to two hours. You can also use these clamps or there are many other types of clamps that we could use for this job. Okay, as you can see the glue after it dried has foamed up to fill in all the gaps.